you know, as as much I ra- uh, rail against growth, for example, I yep. think growth for the sake of growth is stupid. But I do acknowledge uh, enjoying getting better at things. So mm. you know, I do like to improve at something, be able to look and be like, oh, I'm better than I was the other day. Mm. What's the motivation behind that? I don't know. Mo- mo- there's sort of like why thing. You know, if you keep asking why. Mm. You just go around. Well, the I don't know if there's yeah. any. I don't know if it goes any further than like. I'm just trying to think through that. Like, yeah, that, that sort of progression of it. You know, why? Why do you want to be better? Uh, I think there's something to be said about you. You feeling like you're improving as a human, like going back down to all the way of you know, evolutionary. Is it is it a thing that you know? If you're better than the day before, then you can accomplish something else that you couldn't do the previous day before. So there's some enjoyment or there's some safety in that as well mm. maybe maybe something like that i mean to, in in my mind i'm like okay well you know if i can be better than when i was yesterday then i feel like i can perform tomorrow unlike how i could perform today something to that effect right so it's like it's that that good endorphin release of like oh yeah i'm, I'm getting better as an as an overall human um mm. maybe there's some motivation like fitness wise yeah i can imagine that but just motivation wise or intrinsic motivation just broadly across a lot of other things just in the knowledge of like okay the actions I'm taking today makes me better tomorrow than I am today, that sort of level. I think there's some intrinsic motivation in that, mm. which but 100% is, I think, joined in with growth and there's some downsides to just focusing on the growth, but there is some motivation in that as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I view growth for growth's sake as dumb as money for money's sake. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's what... Yeah, it's like, what, the reason why, behind why, that why, why a million? Why 10 million? Why a billion? Why yeah. 2 billion? Like, what's the difference between to you of 2 billion and 3 billion? Yeah, like, is there what, a difference? What, what, what's, uh, why would having 10 billion people be better than 8 billion, mm. for example? Yep. You know, oh, declining birth rates, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's but like, I think it's uh, yeah, where, so away from money, but back onto, let's say, just fitness again. I'm just going to say, like, so what, what does it matter that I can bench 160 or 180 or 200? So, like, mm. from a growth perspective, uh, I would say, it doesn't mean squat. Like it doesn't mean a literal squat. Yeah, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Know. Like it doesn't actually. If if I could, I, I can't. I can bench over one sixty right now. But would would anything change if I did one eighty or two hundred? If it's a specific thing about like maybe because you're doing a comp or something, okay, maybe I'll give you a pass. But generally for me, no. There's literally like no other meaning apart from the fact uh, from a growth perspective. But there is meaning that I can form in going. Well, if I do one sixty one. And then if I do 162 the next day or after training for a long period of time, that's an improvement on what I used to be before. And there is there is motivation that you are improving yourself, not but not for the sense of the continual growth. Mm. Like, I, I don't know if that's well explained, but I, I can in my, in my mind's eye, I can go, there is a difference between just continually growing and then the fight that comes and the... The, the fight and the, the progression that you get on that journey of just getting that little bit better. Yeah, well, and the, the, you sort of touched upon something, which is you get more nuance. So if you think about it, to go from 160 to 161 isn't just you rock up the next day. That's sort of, that could be a three-month thing. And that's that's way too long to, to you know, just be doing it for growth growth for growth well uh, just like just that. to give you an idea the i i that particular one i did a, a 160 bench i'm going to say maybe last year start of last year and it took until yesterday to do 161 so it's a last year. now was i like really going just hammer going, at that particular for that no one, yeah. i wasn't but i i've been trying to progress everything in a general sense um and even to me like that one extra kilo i was like oh wow that's motivating and i was like oh well I, I do see some progress not for the growth not for the fact that it's this number to that number but because like oh cool I've, I've put things in place um over a long period of time mixed with intrinsic motivation and discipline i guess you'd say um to actually come out with i had like with the actual success the outcome that you want and it's like, oh cool that is that solidifies the the motivation behind it and then motivates me to then just continue on with that as well 